in the session of Godland Sounds in Learning English Test, there are some sounds that examiners like to ask questions on. And these sounds are usually being repeated almost every year. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to pronounce those sounds and how to identify the answers when questions are asked of them. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Dima Tutorials. Dima Tutorials is an educational channel on YouTube that is dedicated to helping students pass their exams in good grades. In this lesson, I'm going to learn top repeated questions and consonant sounds in oral English tests. We're going to learn how to pronounce those sounds and the secrets of identifying the answers in the exam. Now, without wasting time, let's get to it. The first one we are going to consider is the TH letters. The TH letters. Now, we're going to learn how to pronounce the TH letters and the secrets of identifying the answers when questions are asked on the TH letters. Now, there are two ways of pronouncing the TH letters. You can pronounce the TH letters as th or as v. Or mm. the first one is voiceless, and the second one is voiced. So the problem that most students have is knowing where the th letters should be voiceless and where the th letters should be voiced. So I'm going to give you the trick, the simple trick that will help you identify where the th letters should be voiced and where they shouldn't be voiced. Now, as an African or as an English language learner, we do not have the or v sound in our languages, right? What we'll do is that most times the th letters that are pronounced the voiceless one, we usually pronounce them as t, and the th letters that are pronounced v, the voiced one, we usually pronounce them as d. For example, English learners or Africans like us pronounce the words think as think, think as think. Thin as thin. Normally, an African will say thank you, but the right pronunciation is thank you. The right pronunciation of the word is thank. Thank and not thank. So, where you have the th letters that you pronounce as th, the right sound is usually the voiceless one. Now, words like then, than, that, African will pronounce the word then as then. That as that. Now you find out that when you pronounce the th letters as the, the right pronunciation is v, v, the voiced one. Now in an environment where you pronounce the th letter as an African as t, know that the right pronunciation is the voiceless one. And when you have the th letters be pronounced as the, as an African or as an Englishman that you are. Know that the right pronunciation is the voiced one. Now let's answer this question from the past questions. Let's answer the question from WASC 2019 past questions. From the words letter A to D, choose the word that has the same consonant sound or sounds as the one represented by the letter or letters underlined. Now we have question 29. Truth. Truth. Option A, we have tick. B, we have trend, C, we have through, and D, we have though. Now, option A and option B are incorrect because they do not have the TH letters. The given word is a TH letter word, right? So, option A and option B, we're going to strike them off because they are not TH letter words. Now, option C and option D have TH letters. With the tip I shared with you, can you identify the correct answer now? Ordinarily, how would you pronounce the word truth? Now tell me the truth. How would you pronounce the word truth? Ordinarily, you say truth. Truth. Tell me the truth. Tell me the truth. That's how we speak here in Nigeria. And that's how we speak in most countries in Africa. So the sound we have in the TH in truth is the voiceless one because we pronounce it as t. Now, option C, through. How do you pronounce through ordinarily in Nigeria? You pronounce it as true. She threw the stone at the window. So ordinarily you pronounce it as t. So that's how you know that it is meant to be pronounced the voiceless one, just like the that you have in truth. 
So that's why this is the correct answer. Now, Oshondi, how do you pronounce it ordinarily as a layman, as an English learner? You pronounce it as do. Do. Though I don't answer all the patients, I'll say able to pass the exam. So pronounce the word ordinarily as do. So the correct pronunciation is though. Though. The TH letters that we pronounce as the are usually pronounced th. And the TH letters we pronounce as t are usually pronounced as th, the voiceless one. Now, the next one we're going to look at, which is very popular in the past questions. If you're going through the past questions, you see the sound almost every year. The sound is ng. Ng. It's a nasal sound. It's pronounced through the nose. Ng. Ng. You find a sound where you have ng together in a word. Where you have ng together in a word. Now, where you have ng at the end of a root word, then the g and n will be pronounced together as ng. Ng. For example, sing, sung, ring, rung, wing. The ng at the end of the words are pronounced ng. And when you have ng in the middle or somewhere else other than the end of the word, you pronounce the n before g as ng. ng. And the g is not silent, so you still pronounce the g as g. g. For example, English. English. You do not say English. You say English. English. The N before G is pronounced N, and the G is pronounced G. English, English, and not English or English is English, English. The N is pronounced N, and the G letter is pronounced G. Now, listen, we have exemptions to this rule. We have NG, and the G is pronounced G, and not G. The G is pronounced G and not G. The N will not be pronounced N or the NG will not be pronounced N. Okay? okay. For example, it's challenge. Challenge. In this way, you have NG together in it. So it's the end of the word, right? You have NG together in this word. But you do not say challenge. Challenge. You say challenge. Because the G is pronounced G and not G. So this rule applies to words where you have NG and the G is pronounced G. G. And not the words that have NG and the G is a pronounced G. G. I hope you understand. So be careful when you answer questions on this sound. But you have NG and the G is pronounced G. That's why we have the N sound. And when you have ng and the g is not pronounced as g but as g, the ng sound is not applicable here. Now, another place where you find the ng sound is where you have nk. nk together in a word. Now, we have nk together in a word. The n will be pronounced ng. ng. Not the nk, but the n alone. The n before k will be pronounced ng. ng. Do you get? For example, zonk, drunk, bank, monk, shrink. The N before the K is pronounced ng, ng, ng. Okay? And the K is still being pronounced. The K is still being pronounced. When you have NK together in a word, especially at the end of the root word, you pronounce the N before K as ng. Now let's answer a question on this sound from the past questions. What's the thing we have king? King. The underlined letters are N and G. King. Now option A we have big. B sin. C tag and D long. I believe you already know the answer to this question. And the answer to this question is long. Long. Option D. Because it has NG together in it, just like King has NG together in it. So, option D is the correct answer. Now, let's look at another question on this sound from Jam Fast Questions. Question 25, 2017, we have Sing. 
sing s i n g sing the ng is pronounced ng now I have option a singe singe s i n g is singe I just explained when to pronounce it ng together as ng and when to pronounce only the n as ng. Now, this word is pronounced singe. It has ng together in it, but does not have the sound ng because the g is pronounced g. Now, this is not the correct answer. Option B, we have. Option B, we have bank. Bank. I told you when you have n k together in a word, you pronounce the n before k as n. So this is the correct answer. Bank. The n is pronounced n. So this is the correct answer. Option C. Bond. Bond is not the correct answer. It doesn't have n g. Neither does it have n k. Option. Option D. We have thin. Thin is not the correct answer. You know why. It doesn't have ng. It doesn't have nk together in it. So, like I said, the correct answer is bank. Bank. Option B. Now, there's some more popular songs I would like to consider. Well, that will have to be in another video. Okay, what you need to do for me is to click on the like button. If you learned something from this video, you got value from this video. And make sure you subscribe to the channel. Click on the notification bell and share the video to your friends. Bye for now.